In this video, I will share 9 coding projects that will make you a god tier app developer. And comment below which of these you have done. Let's go from easiest to hardest, starting at level 1. A calculator. Did you know a computer is actually just a giant calculator? If you want to become a programmer or developer who works with computers, then you should know where it all started from, by building a simple calculator. It teaches you about one of the most fundamental concepts in the programming world, which is accepting input from a user and outputting onto the screen. Now, if you can build a basic calculator, then you're ready for the next challenge. Bill Gates famously said tic-tac-toe was one of the first programs he built. Creating up a game teaches you about the basics of logic. I recommend you build out the classic arcade style games like Snake, Chess and Tetris. These games definitely took my coding abilities to the next level. And fun fact by the way, you can actually go back to my old videos on this channel where I made tutorials for all of this to teach myself. And I swear every seasoned developer has coded games in their past at some point. This one's not really a project but more of a practice that I used to do every day which is cloning the front end for various apps. So cloning the front end for YouTube, Spotify, Facebook, etc. Or I used to love going to dribble.com and picking a design that I liked and just cloning it to the best of my ability. I did this every day for about a month and then I felt so much more comfortable with all the visual UI stuff. Level 4 is a expense tracker or like a habit tracker. This one not only accepts input from the user, but now you have to start thinking about storing data. Whether that's storing the data offline on the physical device or online in the database somewhere. This type of app will require you to learn about the CRUD operations, which stands for Create, Read, Update and Delete, which is a concept that you will be using for the rest of your life. Next we have a classic weather app. Seems simple, but the main thing with this one is that it will require you to read data from the web. This is where most people learn about APIs and how that works. And so the main takeaway that you want to learn from an app like this is the ability to read information from the internet through an API. This is a must for any developer. Cool, okay, level six. Now this is where it starts to get interesting. So this is one of my all time favorites, which is building a social media type app. But before you go crazy with the images and videos, just keep it simple and code up a text-based social network, kind of like the OG Facebook and Twitter back in the day. This is where you now will need to learn about how authentication works, like logging in and out, creating passwords and things of that nature. What if the user forgets their password? What if the user wants to follow some people and not others? Building a small social network, even if it's just text-based, presents real-world challenges like managing a bunch of users. Since you just did a text-based social network, now you can move up and try to do a photo-based like Instagram or even a video-based social media network like TikTok or YouTube. Now with this, because the medium is now images and videos, the file size is going to start to become an issue. So how do you store and manage all this media while still giving the user a good experience? Then one of the most difficult type of apps to build is a two-sided marketplace app such as Uber and Airbnb. This brings together many different complex concepts. Firstly, you have two different kinds of users, like riders and drivers, and it requires heavy coordination in the back end to organize an Uber type of experience. It also brings up questions of geolocation, live tracking, as well as payments between users. Honestly, if you can build this, then you should just go make a startup. Why are you watching this video? And the last bonus project I wanted to include is an AI chatbot or an app that somehow integrates AI into it. I believe it is extremely important to adapt and keep up with today's technology. And so making a kind of chat GPT wrapper or something similar, even if it's not revolutionary, I still think demonstrates your ability to adopt new technology really quickly. With each of these apps, once you code it up and it works, quote unquote, so to speak, see how it behaves as the number of users grow. Building the same app for 10 users is completely different from building it for a thousand users. As the app scales, you'll run into different challenges and it'll force you to learn about different things like time complexity and big O. A lot of these programming concepts, which are taught in universities in a computer science degree, which now put me in debt. But in my personal experience, I only really understood these concepts after I built apps myself and ran into these problems myself. So you should stop watching tutorials and start building. If there's one thing that I want you to take away from this video is that whatever you decide to build, I recommend that you err on the side of starting too small 
rather than starting too big. This was a mistake I made when I first started app development. I remember I was like, I want to build an Uber. How hard could it be? Turns out it was super hard. <laughs> and I did end up Frankensteining something together with my copy pasting skills, but it easily broke and I just had no clue what I was doing. And although the spirit of ambition is commendable, I recommend that you start small and go from there. I hope that was helpful. Comment below which of these you have made and make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.